Have you ever watched in awe as Lionel Messi scores yet another impossible goal? Or maybe you've been transported to another time and place when reading a novel by Anne Rice. What you may not realize is that without biologic medicines like human growth hormone, that small boy from Argentina could not have reached his full potential as one of the world's greatest soccer players. And without insulin, Anne Rice's diabetes may have kept her from writing some of her best-selling stories. Biologic medicines help millions of people worldwide overcome debilitating or even fatal diseases. Manufacturing is the key to making sure they can get these therapeutics. In this course, Making Biologic Medicines for Patients, our team will walk you through the steps required to make these life-saving drugs. But the bacteria and yeast are more robust then. Biologic medicines are proteins used as drugs. In this course, you'll learn about the key building blocks that make a protein. And you'll learn about how variation in protein structure, whether by design or as a result of the manufacturing process, determine the safety and efficacy of a drug. For millennia, people have used the power of living cells to produce essential staples by fermentation. You'll learn how biotechnology allows you to engineer some of those same cells to produce biologic medicines instead of food. We'll also look at how we can design and operate bioreactors to maximize the production of these drugs. What are the parts here that we're looking at? We'll take you through the steps necessary to isolate the drug from the cellular machinery to ensure it's safe and efficacious. So these are depth filters for clarification. You'll learn about how the entire process is linked and how choices made upstream, such as which cell line you choose, impact the purification design. You'll also learn about how these drugs are regulated to ensure the best possible patient experience. And as you look through it, you'll see lots of little layers. Along the way, we'll visit real manufacturing facilities to see how theoretical principles are applied in practice. Industry has brought... And we'll talk with hundreds. pioneers in the field, such as Nobel laureate and co-founder of Biogenidec, Professor Phil Sharp. It became a very uh, widely used technology. We invite you to go on this journey with us to learn how to make biologic medicines so that you too could play a part in improving the lives of millions today and tomorrow.